I am a firm believer that when we ask better questions, we get better answers. And in turn, I honestly think this creates a better life. And today I'm gonna share with you one question that I ask myself regularly that has led to the most exponential growth both in my personal and my professional life. And I'll warn you, you shouldn't ask yourself this question if you're not ready for massive growth and if you're not ready to take action around it because it can be that powerful. So let's dive in. Before we get to today's episode, I have something really exciting to share with you. Our Six Figure School Business Mentorship is officially open for enrollment, and I would love to work with you over the next 12 weeks, where we will equip you with a step-by-step -step plan to launch or grow your business or your big idea, along with mindset tools to help you get out of your own way, and the most incredible community of like-minded women to support you and hold Hold you accountable. Even if you don't have a business yet, but you know you are meant for more, there is no such thing as joining Six Figure School too early because you have access to this program and community for the life of the program. So you can truly grow and learn at your own pace. I want you to ask yourself this question. What kind of impact could I be making six months from now? And I want you to think about that while you listen to just a few of our recent Six Figure School graduates, what they have been able to accomplish since joining the Six Figure School community. Hey there, I'm Steph Caldwell, the founder of the Manifest Her Network and the author of Manifest Her. And I signed up for Six Figure School last fall and thank freaking goodness for that. I had been building a business that was all about bringing women together in person. And when the pandemic hit, literally everything changed overnight and I had no freaking clue how I wanted to move the business forward. I'd of course invested in my business before I'd invested in software, I'd invested in you know, supplies that were required to build my in-person events, but I had never invested in a business mastermind or business coaching. And so deciding to invest in Six Figure School was honestly like a pretty big mental leap for me. But in the 12 weeks of the program, I not only got clear on how I wanted to move the business forward, but I built and then launched a program that's now taking an income. One of the things that I love most about this container is that you don't necessarily need to do the program the exact way that I did because you have access to all of the coursework as well as the community for the lifetime of the program. So if you're thinking about potentially making the leap, but maybe getting a little bit of anxiety because it would require you to step into a new version of yourself, let me say it's going to be worth it. And when you wake up 12 weeks from today or whenever you know the course actually completes, you will be in action around one of your biggest ideas and there is nothing more delicious, more magnetic, more extraordinary than seeing a woman get in action around her biggest ideas. Just think about where you could be six months from now and the lives that you could be impacting. Enrollment is only open for a few days, so don't miss your opportunity to join us. I cannot wait to work with you and grow and learn inside this community. So head to joinsixfigureschool.com. You can get all the details there, answer your questions, and enroll and start this amazing journey of launching and scaling your big idea to make the impact that you know you're meant to make. Now let's get to today's episode. Thanks for tuning in today. And this one is going to be short but powerful. And I really want to challenge you to put this episode, this question I'm going to give you into action. Because if there's one thing I don't really believe there are secrets to life or to business, but if there's one thing that has impacted my life the most over the last 10 years of entrepreneurship, 
it's been asking myself this exact question. So when I want to gain clarity around what to do next, anyone ever feel like you sometimes just lack clarity or you're facing this decision or you just know you're ready for the next level and feel a little bit lost on what to do? This is the question that gives me clarity. It's been a catalyst to some of the most exponential growth. And honestly, the pathway to that growth was getting massively uncomfortable, if I'm being real. And the question is this, who do I want to be a year from now? What kind of business do I want to have? What kind of impact do I want to be making? What kind of woman do I want to become? Now, I know that was more than one question, but the foundation question is, who do I want to be a year from now? And I'm going to break down kind of how I use this because it might sound simple, but this, this can be the most powerful question you ask yourself if you allow it to be. So the clarity piece, first and foremost, you know, when I am looking to make a decision, whether it's an investment for my business or it's, you know, should I launch this new program? Should I completely shut down one whole business? I, I've used this question in the past to answer that, that question. I've used this question to answer that question. You get what I'm saying. And when I, when I project out, when I envision my life a year from now and the life I want to be living, the activities day to day I want to be doing, how I want to feel in my business, I make decisions from that future version of myself versus what feels comfortable for me today. I really want you to get how groundbreaking that thought is because we probably, if, if you're anything like me, you've never thought about the fact that we don't really make decisions this way. We often make decisions based on what feels good right now or what fits into our life right now, what feels financially comfortable right now versus making decisions with our future self and our future goals in mind. And it can be as simple as thinking about what kind of growth is there to, to take place between who I am right now and who I want to become? Because we've talked so much on the show about imposter syndrome and getting uncomfortable and why it's a good thing to feel stretched. But oftentimes then when we make these big decisions for our life or for our business, we're making decisions from a place of comfort. And nothing grows in your comfort zone. It's inherently designed to hold everything that you already know, that you're already familiar with. So there's no growth that takes place there. So anytime, the next time you go to make a decision, you go to gain clarity around something in your business or your life. I want you to take the time, even maybe journal about who do you want to be a year from now? What do you want your life to look like? And now, from that point of view, does this decision fit into it? So the, I think there's a couple of places that this has really, really been effective for me. And I've shared about this before. One of the places is when I look at investing in myself, in my business. And I used to have a really, really tough time. If you asked between my husband and I, who's like the spender and who's the saver, I'm definitely more financially uh, risk averse, let's just say. I like to be comfortable, I like to be calculated, and that's great, that's actually a really, really good trait to have. But when it comes to investing in myself, the choices I would make based on what feels comfortable today versus what feels like it's aligned with the person I want to be a year from now, that is never comfortable. <laughs> I'll just be the first one to tell you, every investment I've ever made in myself and my business has felt uncomfortable. And the investments that felt uncomfortable are the ones that grew me the most. Because it had me step into being a different person within my business. It had me look at my business differently. I had to get bigger than the problem. 
So when I would think about investing, and it does not actually matter the amount of money. It just matters that at the time, it was a stretch for me. It made me step back and go, wow, okay, well, if I'm going to invest this, how would I make sure that I get a return on that investment? What are the possibilities? I started to have a bigger conversation than the one I was comfortable having. And I started to ask myself deeper and better questions. Okay, well, how would I get a return on this investment? What could that look like? What new opportunities might open up? So the first place that I ask myself this question is around investments in myself. And then the second one is around that clarity piece of what is the direction of my business going forward. And there was a time I've shared before how I had a health and wellness business in the past and then I was building up powerhouse women. And what felt safe to me at the time was to continue building my health and wellness business. I was earning a nice income. I had recognition, awards. I was seen as a leader in that space. And the exact opposite was true of what we were building here with Powerhouse Women. There was no podcast. We had had maybe one event. We were monetizing just a very, very little bit. But when I looked out at my future self, I saw all of you. I saw the community that I wanted to build, the people that I wanted to impact. And I knew that that was going to require all of me, that it was going to require my full focus. It was going to require all of my attention. And it was going to require the best of me. So when I ask that question, who do I want to be a year from now? What impact do I want to be making? I had to come to the really, really difficult conclusion that it probably meant stepping back from something that was good in order to leap forward into something that was great. And for a while, that was scary. On paper, it didn't make sense. Much like investing in myself, this felt like a a different kind of investment, a different kind of betting on myself. But it was the same thing. But when I envisioned who I wanted to be a year from now and started making those little decisions to show up as her right now, like right in this moment, how can I make a mini decision that's getting me closer to being her and living that life? That was when things ultimately started to shift. So that's what I want for you. I want you to start asking yourself this question. Who do I want to be a year from now? How do I stop? How do I start right now today to show up as him or her? And where is that next thing that feels like it's in alignment with the life I'm living into That might not necessarily make sense to the person that I am today and the comfort zone I'm living in today. And, you know, this was something that came up for a lot of the women who invested last year in our very first round of Six Figure School. You know, for a lot of people in our community, that investment, even if they break it down into a payment plan, that's that's the most they've ever invested in their business and in their big idea. And the transformations that I got to see especially from those who had to take the biggest leap of faith. And I'm not talking about making unwise financial decisions. We're not talking about that. We're talking to those of you who know you've been ready for a while for more. And you're trying to do it all by yourself. You're trying to figure it out and don't want to admit that maybe you could use some support. Maybe you could use a community to help you along. And those people who made that first scary investment, I think had the biggest transformations because it forces you to show up differently. It creates a different level of accountability than you've probably ever experienced before. So when we air this episode, I don't know when you're listening to it, we literally have just a few days left to enroll in this spring program for Six Figure School. And this is it. This is the last chance. It may be the last chance for this year to join us and to start living into that person you want to be a year from now. And I just want you to think, who could you be impacting six months, 12 months from today? You know, what do you want to be celebrating? What do you want to go to bed at night so proud of yourself for? And what's your answer to that question? 
Who do you want to be a year from now? And how can you start showing up as that person every single day until you live full-time as that person? What are those small decisions that you can make on a daily basis to act and speak and operate and think more like her or him, for those of you, our gentlemen listeners? What can you do today? So for those who are you know, going to join us in the final hour for Six Figure School. This is, this is really it. This is the last chance to join. This is the last podcast of my solo episodes that you'll even hear me talk about this. So this is it, friends. Um, you can just go to joinsixfigureschool.com. You can get all the info there. You can text me with your questions. I do answer these text messages personally. So if you text questions to 602-536-7829, that's the place if you have like one last little, okay, yeah, but, or I just need to hear that you really think this is a good choice for me, Lindsay, um, you can reach me there. I would love to hear from you. But uh, we're going to really be doing some big things within this community over the next 12 weeks. And these are women who are going to look back in a year from now and be so proud of the, of the lives they've impacted. But the way they've impacted their own lives, first and foremost. So I cannot wait to meet so many of you inside this course. Um, the place to go, if you know you're ready, is joinsixfigureschool.com. And just remember, whether or not now is your time, whether or not this program is the right fit for you, or maybe something else, asking yourself that powerful question every single day is the catalyst it may be the catalyst you've been looking for to living a life beyond your wildest dreams. And regardless, just remember that as you start to take steps forward toward living that life, you're going to run into resistance. And this is exactly why we always say you are just not meant to do business or life alone. So regardless of whether it's one of our communities or another one that just really speaks to you, just don't try to do it alone. Remember that you're supposed to design, you're designed to do this in community with other people who are growing and going through the same growing pains that you are. So until the next episode, I cannot wait to see who joins us for this next round of Six Figure School. And I'm always here to support you, cheer you on, and remind you that you're not supposed to do any of this alone. Oh, 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 oh,